introduction on how to use WebEx, which is the software um, the conference has made available for online meetings. Um, to start with, you'll need to uh, open up your web browser, go to meetings.webex.com, and there you will uh, log in. The login information is currently saved on Basecamp, and if you need access to that, you can um, email uh, me, and I would be happy to do that for you. So come in here, and click Sign In. Um, one thing to remind everybody is, is everybody signs in under the same account, so you're going to see um, uh, all the meetings that have been set up um, for everybody. All right, so if I come in here and I want to um, schedule a meeting, I'll come to the top. Um, click on uh, meetings and then I have an option. If I just want to start a quick meeting right now um, that can be used, um, I click meet now or which most people will do is come in and schedule one for an upcoming time. So it'll show you your upcoming meetings down here and you click schedule and um, give it a title and again more than you are using this so make sure it's a title that's descriptive so we might say um, for us we're going to say test meeting for training come down here and say when the meeting is going to be it's all fairly straightforward say it's going to be um, Friday the 7th it's going to start at noon and it's going to last for two and a half hours are. Now, uh, the other thing I can do is I can get list um, people who are invited to attend the meeting. Okay, and then I can uh, type some more. If there's additional people um, that we want to attend, they'll just keep adding up down here. And if you did somebody by accident, you can well, hit this button here and that will remove them. Now, because they have been invited, they're going to get an email that tells them um, all the information they need to have um, for the meeting. Uh, you can optionally add an agenda or if there's um, files that um, this meeting is going to need. If you're discussing something or you have a printed agenda, um, you can attach those files. Um, you can give a password to the meeting so only certain people can attend. We, normally we won't do that. Um, and everything else is uh, pretty much here. So really the most important thing is the ones that are starred, what, when, and then optionally the email addresses for the people who are invited. So then we click schedule it. And it gets scheduled and I get back here and it says here's my title, test meeting for training, here's when it is. Um, look down here, I see who's invited. That's the host and then this other person. Um, now, um, if, say, you're hosting a meeting and you didn't invite somebody that you needed to invite, um, or it was more of a public meeting, or you wanted to send your own email inviting people, um, what you would need to do is um, come into this screen, which gives you the details about your meeting, click More Info, Okay, and then here, right here, meeting URL, um, you want to copy that and send that out. Um, that's, the, that's the link that the participants will need to click. Um, the other thing that they're going to need, if they're going to call in using um, a phone, a, a normal phone, as opposed to using um, their computer sound, then they're going to need this um, phone number and the meeting number because when they call this number um, it's going to ask them for their meeting number and they're going to need this. So you can um, copy and paste the URL, the phone number, and the meeting number into an email and that's all people are going to need. Um, some folks who are maybe traveling or don't have a computer available to them can just call in using the phone number and the meeting number and not even do anything um, on the computer um, if they don't want to. All right, so let's take a look-see. Nope, that's not what I want. 
So here we see the invitation that I received uh, to the email. So I, this is what will show up in anybody's who you invite to the meeting um, through the invitation process. They're going to see this and it's going to say, hi, Yellowstone Conference has invited you to WebEx. This is what it's about. When? How long? Click that link to join. Um, and then giving me the audio information right here on how to call and access. And if there were any um, files attached to it, then those would show up here. Um, and that's all the information as a participant that I need um, to make um, to participate. Okay, so say um, we've um, it's 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 become Friday uh, at seven o'clock, and or it's Friday at noon, and it's time to um, start my meeting. Um, I can come here and log into the same account, meetings.webex.com. I'll see my upcoming meetings. I'll select the one I want to start. And let's say it's Friday, December 7th, 2 p.m. at noon. I'll click on that and it says, um, when it's time, start your meeting here. Um, and we can go ahead and as the host, I can start it. Um, as the host, you need to log in to meetings.webex.com to start the meeting. Everybody else who's um, just a participant, they don't need to log into anything. All they need um, is um, this information here, the link, um, and the dial-in information, which is included in that the email that they got, or alternately, um, if you've posted this somewhere where they can get at it. Like So as the host, you need to log in. As participants, nobody else does. So I'll come here and I'll hit start. And it's going to say, hey, this isn't starting. Um, and I'll, I'll go ahead and start it anyway so that we can look at it. So come here and it'll give you this. And then it's going to have to um, launch um, a different um, kind of a, a separate program to actually start the meeting. So here that is. And I'll kind of. So here's that is, and then it's going to give you a, ask you a question. I can call, I can use the audio from my computer as the way I want to call um, into the audio part. Um, or I can say, you know, I'm going to use um, the telephone information. And here's this. Now, um, when you call in with this information, it's going to give you the chance to enter your attendee ID. Um, you should do that if, if, you're, if you can. And just so I'm number three. Um, but the phone will ask you that. It'll say, you know, dial three followed by pound. All right, so now that I'm logged in, I'm logged in as host. I see myself here. This little button right there will um, turn on uh, my webcam if I want to um, uh, share webcams. Uh, one thing about that is that that's going to eat up uh, more um, bandwidth on the internet. So if you've got somebody who's maybe on a slower internet connection and you don't need them to turn on their webcam, um, I, would, I would avoid it. Um, sometimes it's nice, uh, but it's not necessary. Uh, so I can do that. Um, down here you can, um, you can send texts, um, text type messages to people in the meeting. Um, and then you can send everyone or if there's other people logged in, you can click this and then you can select their name and send an email, a, a message directly to um, one person. And finally, um, one of the things that um, WebEx allows you to do is it's not only conference call where you can hear each other and video where you can see each other, um, but by clicking share my desktop, this big button right here, uh, as the host, I can share my the desktop of my computer um, and then show documents or look at web pages or you know anything like that. Um, so that's a really really useful tool um, to have to collaborate on something um, while you are um, doing what you're doing. Um, alternately, um, you know, so we can go here. See, this is the basic meeting info. If you need to know that. And then ultimately, you can add a, a whiteboard 
which gives you um, a space to, you know, uh, draw or, you know, um, type text. Oh, that's a really obnoxious yellow. Let's go green. Um, or, or whatever. So this is a collaborative space and everybody uh, can see this. Um, and you can work together on, um, on, on making whatever it is, um, you know, building whatever it is that you're building. Uh, so yeah, and that's really um, about it for, for the basis, basics of, of starting, of scheduling and um, starting a WebEx.